Hi guys and welcome to today's Photoshop tutorial. In this episode I'm going to show you how to professionally airbrush your image. Now if we look here we can see that this um, this image here is really quite... Mm, it has some issues with the skin tone and the texture which we want to even out nicely with the airbrushing to make it look more professional and to make the image look a lot tidier. I mean there is really some issues here with this flakiness of the makeup um, and obviously the skin tone issues where you can see the skin coming through which doesn't look too great. Now what you want to do first is duplicate your original image. Now you can do that by pressing command and J or you can do it by right clicking and going to duplicate layer. Now once you've got your duplicate layer you want to rename it smooth. Now then you want to go to filter, blur and surface blur. Now what we want to do here is put the threshold all the way to 255. Now this might take a while as this is a really high resolution raw image. And as you can see there we've got our, our nice surface blur. Now what we want to do is adjust the radius so the image is blurred but not overly blurred. So for example something like this would just be ridiculous, it's way too much blur. You don't want that much. So change the radius to maybe 25 pixels. Obviously this is going to depend on your image. But you want it to look something like that now. Then you want to adjust the threshold so that you can see the details of the face. So, something like that is good. So you want to press OK. Then you want to duplicate the original layer and drag that above, above your smooth layer. Then you want to go to Filter, Other and High Pass. Now this is what will retain your details in the image. This is the crucial step. Now you can add way too much detail or you can add a bit of detail. Um, really you want something like this that looks quite good you don't want anything too much you don't want anything like like this for example you want to make it so the image is completely grayscale and you've got this kind of texture so press OK then change your the layer blending mode to hard light so there you go you can see that kind of airbrush effect but obviously that's way too much I mean look at the texture and the, the blur so what you want to do is you want to group these two the smooth and the details layer which I'm going to rename just to make it clearer for the tutorial you want to group these two by pressing command and G or you can just group them manually rename that to airbrush and then what you want to do is you want to make an inverted uh, layer mask by holding alt and going down to the layer mask thing there or you can go to layer layer mask and um, hide all now what you want to do now is change your brush colour to white, change your opacity down to say 50% and the brush size is completely up to you, I mean it depends what image you're editing but we'll just show you now what this effect does. So we're going to go over the skin here and uh, as you can see it's already starting to smoothen out which is already creating quite a nice effect. We want to make the brush smaller when we go into more detail, more like intricate details of the face, like around the lips and in between the nose. Okay. So as you can see, this is already making quite a nice effect. And as you can see, that, that details layer we made with the high pass filter is really retaining the details of this image which obviously is what's going to make it look realistic and not too blurry or overly edited like some airbrushing techniques can do which obviously isn't what you want. Now as you can see here the difference between this airbrushed and the original is completely you know, amazing. Uh, if you find though that the blurs may be too much for what you want well not the blur but if you find the airbrushing is a bit too much for what you really need then you can just decrease the opacity of this group to make it a lot less airbrushed but it's completely up to you of course um, another way of doing this would be to change your brush to black and in the areas you think are a bit blurry or a bit too airbrushed just paint over them again to bring out the sharp details say around the face and of course another major thing is retaining the sharpness in the features of the face like the eyes, the nose, eyebrows, eyelashes, things like that. You don't want those blurred, else it will just look like the photographer couldn't hit a focus, which is obviously not what you want. Um, 
and yeah, that's basically it. It'll be cool if you guys could post some of your attempts of this on my Facebook page. The link for that's in the description. But that's basically how to professionally airbrush your image. Uh, magazines and everything use this technique. It's m the, probably the most used technique for airbrushing because it's just effective. It's quick. It gets rid of some of those really nasty details. I mean, let's just hide the uh, airbrush layer again just so you can see the difference. I mean, it's, it's outstanding, really, the difference. Um, but yeah, so... Guys, let me know what you thought of this tutorial. Be sure to like for more tutorials and more Photoshop tutorials. Uh, subscribe as well for more as I'll be releasing more very soon. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys in another video soon.